Now what I'm going to do is remove the, there's the, the main shaft, end of the main shaft and take that out and uh, you'll see that there's a, a cage type bearing in, in there. What I'm going to do is to show you a method of extracting that using grease and punching it out. Um, just put this down, put that down and you'll see the cage in there. When you put it back in make sure you put it in with the, you see the writing on the top, put the writing on the top. Uh, with a pair of calipers I've measured the end there uh, and I've got it it's about 0 .875 of an inch. Let's do it, uh, I'll change it to metric. 22.27 millimetres. And I've got uh, from, uh, that's a, for putting in clutches, and it's nearly the right size, that, but I'll wrap a bit of masking tape around that to bring up the dimension so it's a tight fit. Now with a bit of masking tape around there, I've brought the the dimension up so it's nice and tight and when I do it it won't damage the, the needle bearings in that. Um, I think the needle bearings are okay but I've, I've got the new ones, they're not a lot of money so changing the main bearing on it and that will um, no point in, in skimping when you're doing a gear. Now you'll see there that I've got um, this old vice here and I've made, these are made of lead what I don't want when I do the next stage is to to chip any of the gear teeth on there. I want it to be nice and soft. So into the into the vice and and grip it. That's it held. When I when I knock this in, what I'm going to do now. That is it. As I said, it's a nice tight fit. You can see the the indentations there where the needle are going. What I'm going to do is fill that cup with grease and then the hydraulic effect like a piston going down will push that from the bottom and slide it over this. Um, that's in theory, hopefully it works. I'll just get the grease in. As you can see there it started to come out. I'll put a bit more grease in there and give it another good whack and that should bring the rest of it out and then I can lift it out with some, uh, just try that again, there it is, that's it out as you can see now that will it'll, uh, just slide off there and that's ready for a new bearing to go in. So that's it out, as you see, uh, take the grease off and it's just used the, the hydraulics. You can see where it's pushed on the bottom there. And the, by pushing it through the centre, it pushes the bearing out from the blind hole without damaging the bearing at all. A bit messy, but it works.